today in our whiteboard leadership moment, I want to talk to you about the change in thinking we're experiencing in our country. Maybe you've seen that, where there's a younger generation that just thinks differently than the older generation. And this is, has always happened. It's very, very common that one generation will learn from the mistakes and learn from the strengths of a previous generation and say, I want to do those things, but I want to avoid <clears throat> these things. And so what we're having right now is this huge change, especially in the work world. And when it comes to staff teams, we see this very, very prevalent. So let me give you some of the differences in thinking. And I've gotten this from a number of sources that you can find online as well. But here's some of my observations just from the list that I made. Uh, is this, that it used to be that, that people were the risk of ministry, but now they're considered the assets, that the most important thing you do is create a high-functioning team, a team that loves each other and is willing to work together. And so we're working really hard to create culture um, and chemistry rather than just results in, in the ministry. Uh, second, it used to be a, a top-down. It was a hub-and-spoke leadership where the hub knew everything, had all the secrets, but now it's much more collaborative and open communication, and it's more of a roundtable concept than a hub-and-spoke concept. Uh, next, we see this, this competency over character. It was all about getting the job done. It was business as usual. And so, especially in this uh, generation, in this, this last couple of years, we're seeing that character triumphs over competency. If someone has a great ability but have no character, we have a problem with that in our country, and especially in the, in the church world. No amount of competency will ever make up for a fatal flaw in character. We've seen way too many people fall out of ministry because of this lack of character, even though the competency was, was great. Uh, Daniel Pink uh, has this idea that it used to be that we would envision, plan, and control. We would come up with the vision as leadership, and again, this is the top-down piece, come up with leadership uh, plans, and then we control people to accomplish our plans. But today's generation is more about empowering, mobilizing, and supporting, empowering them to be creative and do the things that God designed them to do, mobilizing them to move in the direction God wants them to go, and supporting them in the process. It used to be that it was all about being at a desk and being, having a, a rigid schedule. The, the time is a, is it was a 9 to 5 week or an 8 to 6 week or an 8 to 12 week, depending on what job you have. It was just really, really d difficult. But now we're, we're more flexible. Flexible hours and we're more mobile. A lot of uh, companies, a lot of churches, they don't, even have, uh, they don't even have offices anymore. They have a, a group room and things like that. Very, very big change, again, because there's, there's much more community focus than there is uh, than there was in the, in the past. It used to be all about the paycheck. You were living for the weekend. You were living to make sure that you could provide for your family. And we still do that, but it's really about what, what am I passionate about? This generation's figured out if I'm, if I'm passionate about it and people need it, they'll pay me to do that. And so they become much more creative and how they, uh, they focus on their work and their responsibilities. It used to be that we had a fear of failure. We had an excellence value that no one could see the underside, the underbelly of what we were doing. And yet this next generation has this, this idea of, no, 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 we're going to make mistakes along the way, but we're going we're to get there because we're going to work together collaboratively. And so we're just going to be masters of mid-course correction in how we handle uh, the things that come up in the life of the church. If you're leading a young team, they're thinking more like this than they are like this. And your job as a leader to figure out what, what do I need to change in order to keep these young leaders on my team and keep moving forward in the gospel movement you're trying to create in your community. This has been a Converge Whiteboard Leadership Moment. To learn more about Converge or to join us, check out converge.org.